Hi, today we're gonna to cover five of the best small business marketing strategies that you can use in 2021. You know, it's been a rough year for small businesses, but there is a way that you can stand out locally. So in this video, I'm gonna go through not only the five things that you can do, but how to implement them for your local business so that you, you kill your competition. Let's get started. Number one, a Facebook business page. Now, before you say, oh, Facebook, it doesn't work, and hear me out, right? There's a right way to set up a business page and a wrong way. If you do it the right way, it becomes a lead generation machine. If you do it the, the wrong way, it's a page that nobody visits. So let me show you how to set it up the right way and then how to use it to market your local business. So there's something interesting that happens on Google when you have an active Facebook business page. And, and that's simply that your Facebook page comes up first under the Google Maps for local search results. Let me show you something. I, I own a martial arts school. And if you type in karate and then the name of the city is Plainwell. If you look, I'm coming up on the local maps here. That's another one of the strategies. But if you look right there, Facebook page right there, that's the first two results and they list above my website. So that that's pretty key for search from a first from a search perspective. You know, if you don't have a Facebook business page and your competition does, then they're going to show up even above your website. So that alone is a great reason to have a Facebook business page. So what we're gonna do next is I wanna go over to the actual Facebook business page and I'm not gonna take you step by step through exactly how to set it up. That's pretty self-explanatory, but I am going to show you what's really important to have on your page. Okay, we are here at my Facebook page for US Martial Arts in Plainwell. And I've been able to build this business up. Unfortunately, COVID has put things on hold. But I want to go through a couple keys that will really help you set your business Facebook page up the right way. Number one is right here. You either want a picture of you or your company logo. Uh, we have five different schools. So I have a picture of me in this location because it's where I teach at primarily. Number two, right up here, you want to have a call to action. So many people waste this space right here. Two weeks free and a free t-shirt. It gets people's attention and it gets people clicking, send a message. And it's a lead generation machine for me on a regular basis. The one thing you want to check that most people don't do is once you get this set up, pull up your phone and take a look at it on mobile. If I use all the way to the edges here, You'll notice this is not over to the right edge, and the reason for that is if I were to do that, half of this is cut off on mobile, and then it makes no sense to 80 to 90% of the people who are going to be going to your page. So make sure that your call to action is set up. And it never hurts to have a phone number right up here, so as soon as they get here, they know exactly who to call and how to get a hold of you. More and more, what I found is less people call and more hit the send message. But from a text standpoint, they can still text you. So this is the right way to set up your Facebook business page. Another thing you want to do is you want to post on a regular basis. And, you know, one of the things people say is, I don't know what to talk about. It's easy. Reverse engineering. What you want to do is find some of the top, like for instance here, martial arts pages, and go look at what they're doing. I'm not going to copy and paste, but I'm going to get an idea. They're talking about motivation, they're talking about training tips, and it never hurts to have tips in your particular industry. But you wanna post a couple times a week. You know, you're not going to get a ton of response, typically on a local business page, However, when a user comes to learn more information and they see you haven't been there in eight or nine months, it doesn't tell them much. The other big piece are your reviews. You need to try to get the best reviews that you can and ask your customers for positive reviews. What we're gonna go through next is really awesome and that's how to get a lot of attention and contact local business owners 
and it only takes about 10 minutes a day, but it can change your business. Now is where we're gonna go ninja, right? Promoting. If you just post on your business page and do nothing else, you probably won't get a lot of traffic, but this one little hack that I'm gonna show you right now is one that you can implement and talk to multiple business owners every day. It's awesome. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go over to your page and where it says home here, right below, newsfeed. When I click on this, what it enables me to do is go to all of these business owners, right? That's who's posting local businesses. I wanna go and like local businesses in my area. And if I like and follow them, then what happens is they show up and I just click like. And when I do this, now US Martial Arts Plainwell shows up as liking their post. Once in a while, I'll share a local business and you only wanna do this for about 10 minutes a day. You don't wanna like and comment on every post, but you want to definitely like 50 of the local businesses in your area. And then each day as they post, you're gonna like different things. You're gonna comment, nothing spammy. You won't say a word but it lets that business owner know that you're helping to promote their business. And all you do is go into your search bar right here. And what I can do is type in, uh, let me see, automotive Kalamazoo, right here. And now it's going to show me all of the different pages. <clears throat> For instance, Shoemaker's Garage right here. What I can do is simply go here and if I just click like, it'll like it as me personally. What I wanna do is click here and I wanna like as your page. And then I'm going to select which page I wanna like as and click submit. Submit and then they're going to show up in your newsfeed. You might also need to follow them as a business, but this is great. So now every time they post, I can like, I can comment, not everyone, but a lot of them. And if I have 50 or so businesses, great. And if you're not sure where exactly you should go to find all the local businesses, go to your Chamber of Commerce Facebook page. Make sure and like theirs as your business as well, and you'll get access to a ton, a ton of different business owners. And remember, we're not spammy. We're just doing this to help out. Now, make sure before you like a business right here, this business hasn't posted since April 5th. It's not even worth liking their page because they're not gonna show up on your feed. If they're not active, it's not going to do you any good. But put this into play right now and we'll move on to the next strategy. This next strategy really helps to build engagement. It has to do with your Facebook business page, but it's pretty simple. You're going to film about a one to two minute quick tip video. That's it. And you're gonna post that. Those get shared. And as they get shared by people who like your page, more and more people will like your page. And you can also answer questions. You're going to ask, or you're going to film videos on quick tips related to your industry. Once again, if you don't know what to write about, go to Google, put in quick tips for lawn care, and you're gonna get a ton of ideas. So you just have to do a little bit of work. One a week is fine, but over time, these quick tips come up on Google once again, so that when people are searching for lawn care in your area, your quick tips come up and you're seen as the local expert. Get started. Start a YouTube channel. There's a reason why this is a great strategy. Even if you don't want to film a ton of videos, number one, the quick tip videos that we just talked about, you can upload those to YouTube as well. But the really critical part is you're gonna choose what are called keywords, right? Like I showed you martial arts in plain well. I'm gonna show you a couple others and, and it'll basically help you understand why YouTube is so important. Even if you put up videos and never go back, they end up showing up in search and you're seen as the local expert. I'll give you an example. I'm going to use my business as an example for this one and why, why it's so important to have a YouTube channel. And basically, if somebody types in the keyword of Taekwondo and they type in, in plain well, right? Not only do I come up here, I'm dominating the search. If you scroll down, my website is there, Facebook page, but also if you look here, now there's videos. 
It's the name of the business as well as a keyword, Taekwondo Plainwell. My phone number's right there so they can call. There's just so much benefit from a search perspective. And once again, when somebody's looking for classes and you are all over the page for your city, then you're seen as an expert and you're the one they call. I'm guessing you already have this in place, but if you don't, you need a website, right? Moving forward, a website is not just a nice to have, it's critical. So I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail other than if you don't have a website, do some research and get one. It makes all of these other things that we're doing, all of these other strategies work that much better. Number five, we save for the best for last unless you don't have a Facebook business page because you, you have to implement that. That's a free strategy. You can't lose there. But you also need that to do Facebook ads. And I'll tell you what, Facebook ads are a great way to promote your business locally. You know, you can spend three to five dollars a day and you're going to stand out and generate leads. I was able to build my uh, martial arts business from one school up to five schools until, of course, of course, COVID hit. But that's another story. But I did that with a great team. And of course, the marketing all came from Facebook ads. So I've done that for businesses around the country and all different industries. And it just plain works well. If it's something you don't want to get into, just contact me. And I'm more than happy to give you a quote and see if it's something that we can work together on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.